Hello and welcome, my name is Ian Littlewood from Rob Valley Optics and I'm here today to show you the new ETX90 Observatory package that Mina just brought out. Great little package, I'm just going to go quickly go over what we've got here. We've got a nice case, nice well presented case, pretty tough case. So inside, this is as it comes. Like the uh, presenter. So we've got the natural telescope itself. And we've got the binder scope here, cable, handset, leveling compass uh, for north when you set the actual telescope up, a couple of uh, series 4000 eyepieces, uh, super plus eyepieces. There you go, you get a 20, uh, 26 and also a 9, 9.7 I believe that one is, yes. So a great, great little package there. Keys for the case, so you can keep it nice and locked up and secured. So yeah, a great little package there. So here's the actual telescope itself. Uh, they've been out many years now, the ETX-9, this, this, this new package um, is probably one of the best that they, they've brought out uh, over the years. So we've got the flip mirror here, so you can actually view through the top side of the uh, viewing port here. You put your eyepieces straight into that port there. That's your focuser. The connection at the back you can use for bird watching because you can find, you can actually get hold of an erected prism from me, uh, you know, from Rob Valley Optics, and you can actually use it to correct the image of the telescope so you can use it for bird watching in the daytime terrestrial viewing. So very, very good. And you can flip between either the top port or the back port. Uh, hence, that if you are uh, doing some imaging and you want to uh, put a camera on the back, which you can do on this with additional accessories, you can put your camera on the back, you can view it down at the eyepiece first, make sure you've got a nice sharp image, and then flip the mirror up and take an image straight up to the camera. So it's a really, really neat little telescope. Here we've got the fine, and that just, just slides straight into there. Very simple, and obviously you have to calibrate the finder to the scope as per instructions. So that's the little package. Here we've got the tripod. Uh, it goes to a really good height, this tripod. As you can see, uh, we've got plenty of height there for the tall, tall people. Okay. And also what I like about this, it's got the wedge also uh, attached here. So you can, you know, you, you can do some uh, some pretty precise uh, pole alignment uh, with this wedge and it helps with the, with the photography side of things and you just need to put it into polar mode on the electronics uh, Rob Optics do do an instructional video for the uh, ETX uh, series and so it's fairly straightforward how this connects onto the telescope there's a couple of, uh, of actual screws here two couple of holes there let's put mine up Very straightforward. There we go. Uh, the uh, telescope itself is powered internally by batteries. Uh, six times AA batteries on there, so you know it's all compact. Also, the tripod does come with a nice carry bag as well, so that's really, really uh, handy to have because it's so compact and it's protected. Uh, so we've got the scope mounted on here now and as you can see it's a really nice height. So I'm, I'm you know, a good six foot with the telescope, operational, you know, you really are easy, uh, easy viewing on this. And, and the optics, you know, it's a nice zoom top on this, so the optics are very, very, very good. If you're on a quick look here, the optics fully multi-coated. Uh, on the optics there, as you can see, the UHTC coating, ultra high contrast coatings, so that gives you extra light coming in through those coatings. So it's a very, very, very nice system. Concave lens, as the Max Sutas designs are. And yeah, it's just a really nice package, and um, I'd recommend it to any fledging uh, astronomer. Thank you for watching.